Ray, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cooking. Today's BO6 video, man. We're gonna be showing you guys my settings that I do use on this game, man. Currently, all right. So these are literally settings that you can use. You can either. I know some people have trouble with auto tax sprint. You know, um, movement kings. Those of you who want to sprint automatically and stuff like that. Listen, use these exact settings. We got controller settings. We got aiming settings. We got um, movement settings as well as the combat settings. You guys, definitely stay, man. Definitely hit that like button if you do enjoy it, man. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments what kind of controller settings you use or is something different. I'll try it out myself. You know, sometimes I do mess around with the button layouts, you know. But um, listen, without further ado, I do hope you guys enjoy it, man. Hit that like button, man. Subscribe. Listen, get right into the settings. Oops. All right, so what's going on, guys? So listen, I did block my camera just for this, the purpose of this video. I did not want to block out um, any other directions here that you right side here. Um, they do say certain things that are very important for the most part, right? So it basically does explain to you what each setting does, all right? If you guys are confused about it, so I did camera for that. But listen, man, without further ado, let's get right into it. For the controller, um, obviously these are controller settings. Um, we're gonna be running button layout as tactical. That's usually what I do run. Um, it basically just switches the melee with the uh, sliding and diving button. We do keep a stick layout as preset. Horizontal and vertical st uh, stick sensitivity, I do run at 5 to 6. Um, just because I'm a Warzone player for the most part. Um, you know, I do. I used to play multiplayer on uh, max sends. So, you know, that's definitely personal preference. I do recommend a lower sensitivity just because it is um, very helpful when you guys are doing are trying to get good accuracy so as you guys do see man these things are off set to off controller vibration i do set it as off just because man when i'm in the moment when i'm on demon time vibration does get me um kind of off like kind of distracted so i turn that off trigger effect also i do turn it off if you guys do have heavier weapons lmgs um rpgs snipers it does take um it, it's a bit harder the 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 uh, triggers are harder to press so I do turn it off, you know, I, I don't want to, I just keep that off. Dead zone inputs, this is definitely personal preference if you guys do run, um, have stick drift. I myself have stick drift a bit, so I have mine, my left stick min on the lower side. But, you know, everything else you can keep it default depending on your controller. All right, so as far as aiming settings, I do keep this at default. But you can change it just so that you can make your aiming a bit faster when you ADS and so on. Um, aim and advanced settings. You do have to change a bit. We do have aim response curve type to dynamic. Very important. It does give you that um, faster movement. And it does uh, give you what I call aim. All right. So definitely put that dynamic on. Every, everything else, you keep it at default. Target aim assist, man. All right. So this is very important for those of you who do have questions about tactical sprint, um, auto sprint, and whatnot. Sprint assist. Make sure you guys have this as tactical sprint. This, I do have sprint assist laid to zero. Honestly, I have sprint assist sideways and sprint assist backwards as on. I, I don't even know what it does when you turn it off, to be honest. I just have this as on. I don't have any issues with me sprinting and whatnot sideways, backwards, frontwards. So, answer list is off. Crouch assist off. Corner slice, we do have it as on. All right, so for movement behaviors, I do have slide dive behavior as tap to slide just because I do move a lot. I don't, I don't really dive like that. And when you do dive, you know, for the most part, this game at least, you're going to be like doing max pain status, going everywhere you, you don't want to go, right? Jumping off buildings, jumping off the, the ledges and whatnot. So I do have it as tap to slide. So for um the slide dive activation delay, I do have it as medium. Auto door peak, I have it as off. I don't, I don't need anything auto. You know, we're not bots, right? So auto automatic, automatic airborne mantle. This is just because if you do um fast paced, it does automatically mantle when you're in the air. So let's say if you're if you're falling or whatever, you can literally just mantle automatically, and it'll basically save your life. Something. That's why I have it. You can either have this on or off. Sprint so we do have it as on. Slide main, um, maintain sprint on. Parachute automatic behavior. We have it as free fall. You know, just for that war zone. Mantle cancels reload on. Movement advanced settings. So, sprint tactical sprint behavior. We do have this as hold. Just because when you're holding the analog stick down, it literally sprints for you. If it's on toggle, you have to press it to sprint and then press it again to release it. Like, come on. I don't know. That's just, uh, say it's personal preference, but if you're a movement king or 
TikToker or what have you, make sure it's on hold. I don't move forward. We're not bots, man. We keep this as off. And then for tactical sprint activation, we have it as single tap sprint. Double tap, it means basically have to push the analog twice and then it'll um, sprint. So single tap run basically means as you're running, you have to like basically press the analog stick up again so that it could single tap sprint. It's automatically sprinting. Plunging underwater, we have it as free. That way you could look around and control this um, a bit more better. I think door batch we do have it as on have it as on so as far as the combat settings we do have aim down sight behavior um as hold double tap for weapon mount activation this means you literally are next to a wall or whatever or a doorway or a ledge um you can double tap the, your aiming button and it mounts automatically you have it as ads plus melee is gonna while you're aiming it's gonna say like press circle um in my case to uh, mount we come on we, we're move we move too quick for this we need to make it as fast as possible all right and least um challenging so double tap definitely dedicated melee weapon activation we have it as hold melee armor plate behavior apply one just because if you do have it as apply all once you get that armor you're not going to be able to stop um putting it on all right so you can control it more you have more control with apply one before the initial activation i do have it as one by one that way i have the power um to basically blow up a c4 if i do have an extra one in my back pocket all right so i don't have to throw everything i have to blow it up equipment behavior we do have it as hold manual fire behavior we have it as press so as far as the combat advanced settings we do have change d-pad of behavior as a ping you, you can basically um change up what you want these um pads to do change zoom activation sprint type to sprint focus weapon mount exit short late as far as interact and reload behavior i do have it as prioritized reload just because you have the power to tap for reloading and interacting and then you know obviously if you're trying to reload and interact you have to hold to interact right and tap to reload still so i do like to reload more than interacting so that's why i do have it as prioritized reload sprint cancel reload i do have it as off that way as i'm sprinting it does not cancel my reload i don't i like sprinting and reloading at the same time ADS stick swap is off. Depleted ammo switch switch um, is on. This means once you waste out of ammo on your primary, your secondary literally gets switched out automatically. You don't have to press a triangle or whatever button you use to switch. And then lastly, for the body shield, finishing move behavior, you do have the option to either have um, prioritizing finishing move or prioritizing the um, body shield. I have it as finishing move because I honestly don't know. I haven't even gotten a chance, to be honest, to use somebody as a body shield, but um, I don't know, or even finish them. So uh, this can be personal preference. It's not really that serious. All right, so without further ado, man, these were my settings as far as controller, aiming, movement, and combat, all right? So if you guys do or did enjoy it, man, definitely hit that like button, man. Subscribe, turn that noti bell on, man, just to never miss another upload. So hit that like button, if, as I did say, man. Hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.